Good morning, Alberta. Happy Saturday, May 27th. Today. Hey, Native TikTok. Okay. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge that, you know, voting is something that I know a lot of our nations might think isn't our thing. But here's the thing. We signed those treaties. And when those treaties were signed, the settlers, Canadians, colonizers did not respect them one tiny bit. I get that. Yep. But that our, all of our ancestors, all of them, regardless of how crappy the other side has been, has always encouraged us to respect the treaties. So I do. And honestly, a vote is the easiest way you can protest how you feel. Um, there doesn't need to be any discussion as to why the Conservatives are evil and bad. I mean, Harper showed his true colours, launching Idol No More. Jason Kenney was a part of that team. The new Premier is an Indian residential school denier, as of most of the team. Uh, they've targeted the LGBTQ2+. I don't care who you are, that automatically makes you a Nazi. Now we have two parties in Alberta of Nazis, of uh, Christo-fascism, uh, Christo folks who believe in their Christianity so much that they're forcing it down the throats of everybody, just like they did to our ancestors. The easiest way you can protest this is by going and voting. I am absolutely not suggesting the other parties care about Indigenous issues in any capacity. Anyone who has followed me for years knows uh, my podcast has been open about the racism that we get from so-called progressives. They are perfectly okay with what happens in Alberta. They're, they're just like, that's okay, it's Alberta. So when the RCMP, when the legal system, when the po parties target Indigenous people, they go, <laughs> oh my goodness, well that's just Alberta. <laughs> Because they're progressive and have the privilege to get to do that. So we have to stand up in, in many ways. Voting is the easiest way to go do it. I'm asking you to do the advance poll you have until the end of today to go. Make a voting plan if you have to vote on the Monday. Because we need every vote there against the UCP. If you are in a riding that has an Indigenous candidate, please consider them. There's one non-status UCP -er running. Not going to say vote for that guy because his party's already shown their true colors. So let me know if you voted. I've been encouraging it. 